Hey YouTube, Bruce Rob Moffitt. Guys, the other day I did a video on the TDS meter. It records or uh, tests the total to dissolve solids in, in solutions. And the first thing I did with it experimenting home is I messed around with my Brita water filter, seeing if I could prove it. Then I tested to see how uh, effective it was at uh, filtering my water and, and decided what I could do to improve it. I realized after experimenting with it that I might be getting some of the unfiltered water in between the cartridge because this particular design it fits into a slot and there's nothing really to keep the water out uh, except the tightness of the fit there so I went to uh, Home Depot and I looked around and I found some uh, gaskets or o-rings there for uh, and plumbing supply department these particular ones were one and a half inch slip joint washers I'll leave uh, more information in the video description if you want to get them yourself. They're for, very inexpensive. And then after I, I put them on the Brita water filter, I did some more testing. And I got much better results afterwards. So this is a very simple hack or modification anybody could do. It takes just a few uh, minutes and it's also only cost a couple of dollars. So uh, I'll show you the results I got with my TDS meter. After I put in the, the gasket or o-ring, I took some more water, filled it up again, ran it through the filter, and then I tested with my TDS meter. I got 146 parts per million uh, when it was filtered without the gasket and 128 when with the gasket or o-ring. I repeated it. I got 147 parts per million without the o-ring, and then I got 128 with the o-ring. So there's a big difference between filtered with your ring and filtered without it. Um, you might want to check into doing this with your breeder water filter or other cartridge filters if it will take a similar type of gasket or o-ring. I'll have more, like some more information in the video description. Um, it's a very simple thing to do. I was surprised how effective it was and it's something I haven't seen anybody else mention or talk about. If you're interested in getting that TDS meter, I did a video on it, a review of it, prior to this I'll leave a link to it also if you want to purchase one or look at the reviews on Amazon there's a link to it in my video description uh, if anybody does buy one though they do throw me a few pennies so it's not like I'm uh, selling this it's just something I use and I really thought it was worth it for $9.99 you can't beat it so there's my tip for today guys I put on new videos every week and I've been trying to do a lot more home lab stuff because uh, I enjoy doing that uh, I'll leave some links to some other similar videos if you're interested. All right, guys, I'm, I'm Ram here. Take care. See you out there.